2594 on the 930 just passed by here just only here this definitely will be one of the bus spotting spots for one of the bus spotting videos on the bus channel very soon but not now hey guys just here i'm in Perth right now along from those terrace once again at the state building and last time we were here for post after my baptism and uh, that's already very fancy which is actually just in here but this time we're gonna go even fancier at wildflower which is level four that thing is uh we have uh, booked it a a tasting menu for all three of us and it costs 200 dollars per person yes it costs 200 dollars per person so that's why yes this is the last meal with my parents so that's why they're they're flying back to hong kong tonight their flight departs at like 11 something i don't remember but it's a Cathay Pacific flight direct back to Hong Kong tonight. So that's why my birthday is in three months, October, as you guys know. October 9th. So as soon as I said, my birthday is on airport line opening. Everyone knows where it is. So my birthday is the airport line opening day. So you can always remember it. So here's Post, which is actually where we have uh, done the video a few days ago. But now we're gonna go up to the fourth floor and enjoy our fanciest meal. That's actually for my birthday because they're not gonna be able to be here during October, in October to actually help me celebrate. So I'll be eating my, by myself like last year again. So that's why they do a three month early celebration for my birthday. So let's figure out how to go up and we'll go up to uh, Wildflower. All right, so uh, through online, uh, through maybe, I don't know, online booking or call booking, we have booked a six course tasting menu, cost $180 per person, actually it's less than 200 it's actually, now, there's actually another, which is actually an eight course, so the eight course is uh, basically the same menu, but two extra dishes, one extra appetizer, an entree if you guys want to call it, and then one extra thing at the end, which is I think it's a cheese. cheese. Yeah. Cheese. So that's an extra dessert that we don't really think that is actually a dessert. So that's why we go for a six. Plus, that's actually also another thing is just in case the eight course is going to be a little bit too long to eat, then my parents won't be able to make it to their flight on time. So that's why we go with six course, which includes all the stuff at the bottom, which is already looking very high fa fancy looking. And I also ordered myself a drink which is non-alcoholic. Yes, I'm already over 20, but I don't like the taste of alcohol or it should be on. In other words, I still don't understand the beauty of alcohol. So that's why no alcohol for me and my drink is here. All right, here's the drink very quickly. I think it's just, I think it's soda water, yeah? Yeah, soda water inside with all of the five. Uh, so here we got little to stuff. So basic chickpea pennies on top, creamies, garlic and fennel hummus with some finger lime pills and finished with fresh flower design. This is really well, that's not included in the six course, but okay, it's probably, I think it's a compliment plate that everyone gets. So I already look at actually the other, other tables and I already saw them. They also have this. So I don't, I didn't actually hear what she says. She says something like chickpeas and something related to that. I didn't actually hear it. So. This will not be included in the, in the description. Okay. Oh, I actually forgot to film. I already eat this. That's actually way sweeter. This is grapefruit. Way sweeter than the oranges that I buy in Kohl's. Mm. At first I was like, I just ordered down and in two minutes it already came. It already came. So that's why. I, did they like make a mistake or something? Because it looks like an alcohol drink, like a gin or something, but... Nope, very nice. And now they have already got... My parents already got them, their, their own, so this is the last piece for me. This is chickpea and some garlic, a, a, like a soft loaf. There, let's try it. Mmm. Potato cake. Some chickpeas, some garlic, some 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 seasoning on the top. It's pretty good. Mm.
All right, another complimentary plate, bread with uh, some butter. They have actually introduction by the waitress when they brought over here, but I just cannot actually hear what they are saying actually clearly. So, all right. So we ended up don't know what is actually the butter. So we're just gonna try to taste what it is. So bread like that, pretty soft. Let's see what's this butter. There's some sea salt on there, I definitely saw that. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm a butter lover, so that's how you see how much butter I need to grab. And actually for some of the normal bread, I never spread it, I just eat it like this. This is actually how I want it. Don't spread too much, eat it as it is, like that. Big old patch. Okay. Let's see what it is. Mm. Oh. Mm. Look okay, how coffee. Yeah. Now, so most of the time I actually don't like the crust, but this is actually very crispy, this crust. Mm. Yeah. Let me taste some coffee. Is it inside the butter or in the bread? Let's see. Just eat the butter. Maybe you should finish chewing the bread first before I try again. Just a little bit. No, the, co the coffee tastes on the bread. It looks like a sourdough. More butter. Just this like that. How much butter I put. Sorry guys. Mm. Alright, first course is chanamushi. Very small size. And uh, it's all the way down there with truffles, oyster mushrooms, and a consume, which is actually a broth. Japanese style stuff. Koron machine, if you guys don't know, is a steamed egg custard, so you should have egg cut at the bottom. Alright, time to get again. Ooh. Egg custard, oyster mushrooms on top. Mmm. Need these kind of courses. It's not very big, but quality is there, and it's warm, which is good for cold weather. Mm. A lot of ingredients in there. Got some um, roll. We still got the two big pieces of truffle on the top. Let's eat it with some chow mushi. Never try Japanese chow mushi with truffle. Truffle, you can't even taste any truffle flavor. Just eat it like, like it is. Oh, yes. It's a very mild truffle flavor that's just coming up. Not like some of the truffle sauce that you actually found, find in the middle of the supermarket. Some shrimps, some seaweed, rolls, a lot of mushrooms. Mm. Mm. I think there's some meat which adds a lot of uh, good flavors into that one.
Next course. All right, so second course is a Margaret River sourced Wagyu beef and cabbage or something, I don't remember, with a thyme salsa verde. Some quinoa's on top. And also some, I think, lentils. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's see how this cooks. It looks very tender. It's actually soaked in red wine, so that's why it's actually very tender. It's pretty good. Pretty good size, not too huge. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. You can taste the sweetness of the things. The thing is, recently we have eaten a lot of things recently, a few days. In a few days we have eaten a lot. That's why this size is actually pretty decent. Mm. Let's try this um, small little... Mm. Mm. That's so rich. What is that? Let me check my notes. Yeah, I know what it is. But it's not my thing. Is it shallots? Or is it... According to my notes, it said Wagyu beef, native thyme, thyme, royal blue, shallots. Mm. Not a fan of that one, unfortunately. Maybe eat it with the beef, let's see. Mm. Mm, that's spice inside that. I think it's some shallots. But with the beef, it's okay. Not too pungent. Mm. 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 Not a bad course. Not a bad one, but not the best one, definitely. The uh, that little patch of salsa verde shallots thing, a little over pungent for me. The steak is perfect. It's not actually a steak, it's actually just beef, so it's very tender. My dad said it's actually very salty, over salty, but for me it's perfect. So, it really depends on a lot of people's uh, tasting profiles, but on to the next course. Alright, third course, lime, uh, was that a caught fish, which is a pink snapper seared in caramelized butter. Bottom we have a prawn and fennel tartare. And this is a celiac puree. And we also have a bisque, which is a seafood shells reduction. All right, let's do it. Ooh, it's pretty smooth. Mmm. Mm. The fish flavor is actually a little bit strong and tastes a little bit of the fishiness in this thing, but it's alright, not too bad. Again, my parents are saying too salty, but. Mm. It's very important to check whether there are uh, bones in these things. Now, this thing compared with the one I ate on Rotness Island, this thing is so dry actually. Yes, this thing is dry. Mmm! The bis is good though. Packed with flavors. More like a lobster bis. Mm. Let's try a tartar at the bottom. 
They said it's a prawn and fennel tartar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What is that? That's so strong in herbs. Look at that herbs. Yeah, I can taste the prawns in there. Maybe I've never tried fennel before, but that's definitely not. It's a rosemary or thyme or something. Very pungent. Just like that. Just like that. What was that thing called? Earlier on. Uh, that thing on the side would have the... Um... I forgot about that already. What is that thing called? The last course on the side. Oh, those um, salsa verde mixture on the side with the vegetables. It's the same taste, kind of. Mm. Mm. The first course is still the best so far. No, not gonna lie. The levels are going down right now for the uh, plates. So, hopefully it will bounce back up. Let's try this puree. I've never tried it yet. Hmm, very smooth. That's one uh, saving grace, I think. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Alright, last bite. Mm. Honest thoughts? Lobster, uh, the, the seafood bisque, very delicious, very rich, like that. Silly rack puree, like the texture, very, very nice. Matches well with all of this other, the, the bisque and also the, uh, the fish. The prawn and fennel tartar, I'm not a fan. A little too pungent for me. So, the herbs flavor is a little too high, so. And the last thing is the fish, the main, core, the main thing on the plate. The first few bites are okay, but after it hits some of the parts, it's actually very fishy. It just kicks in and it's like hit it and it's like, oh my gosh. One bite I almost threw up, immediately I need to get some drinks in to like flush those out because it's actually too fishy. That sometimes I just really want to throw out and just spit it out, but this is a fancy restaurant so I try not to do that. Overall right now, the first course, very good. Second course, okay. Third one, not that great. So let's see what's the fourth course. We'll actually be able to bounce back. All right, our fourth course. Presentation looks very good over here. We got duck breast, it's dried aged. And we got some greens, spinach. Instead, said there's like duck prosciutto, which is actually a very funny one. And some pickled quince, which I've never tried quince on its own because it's actually a very difficult fruit to handle. You need to like peel it and then cook it before you eat it. And then we got some, uh, I don't remember what is this. Some radish, uh, some radish purees. And I don't remember that one in the middle there. This, uh, this one does actually have no color. All right, time to dig in. The fish was a letdown. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better. Now there's two pieces and it looks, they cooked it pretty nice. Oh my gosh, it's so crispy too. The skin is crispy. I like this course a lot. The skin is very crispy, nicely roast. And the tender is a little bit more fat, but let's try this with the sauce over here, the jus. Mm. Mm. I think, according to my parents, these things are the middle one, the, the little dots, alcohol. But 
I don't really taste that much alcohol. Maybe we can try some of those. They definitely need to get with a better fork. Let's just dip onto those things really quickly. Mm. Good. So the same goes. The uh, main course, the sides have to be as good as the main course. Ah. I mean, cooked spinach is really not my thing, but. Mm. I got some prosciutto that helped a little bit. Pickled quince. Mm. Not fair of pickled, to be honest. The duck is good. Very good though, the duck. Maybe we get some greens with it. Mm. A little bit to it. That's by pretty much a clear plate. If some of the sauces didn't actually complete, but all of the meat and everything is clear. Mm. Definitely way better than the fish. Everything works well on the plate. So. Mm. Especially like the Jew in the middle with all of that little, I think it's actually a grape. Tastes a little bit of a grape in there and also some radish. Those are really good condiments to the uh, duck. Really nice. And the crispy skin, especially I like that crispy skin. But it's outside sometimes the duck breast, they don't even bother actually dealing with the skin at all. But this one, they pan sear it very well. So really nice, really good flavor. A little bit chewy, that's the thing. But overall very delicious. Bounce back, definitely compared with the fish, so wait for our next course. Alright, pre-dessert, this is how I call them, call it. Uh, the mantris, which is actually on the top, which is an apple and pear crossover, native fruit, apple twig, and an elder flower sorbet at the bottom. That's a flower sorbet, so it might be a little bit pungent. No, no. I have already actually checked out all of the video clips that I did. It's already very long, so I've tried to actually hurry this up and not talk too much. I'm just gonna do one, everything in one go. Everything. Mmm. I love the sorbet at the bottom. Mm. And the top is off the apples and stuff. The munchies taste actually pretty sweet. Pretty good, pretty good dessert. Actually, it's a pre-dessert, so there's a main dessert coming up, so we'll just cut ahead to that. Last bite. All right, so last course is a chocolate cake. Inside 66% dark chocolate, on the side is mandarin gel and a mandarin something over there. So, so it is chocolate and mandarin, so let's do it. And also some bee honey. Mandarin is a Chinese orange, you guys know that. In inside is actually pretty rich looking. Mmm, all of that. Mm. Three months in advance for my breakfast, I mean my birthday. It's one of the earliest times for this. But wow, this cake is very rich. And also because I'm actually Asian, that's why. Again, it's desserts, not too sweet is the best. This is a little overpowered. Mm. The mandarin on the side really helps. Well, quickly finished. That's right. Up to today, six course 
tasting menu. And we have already paid, but we have our final little thing over here for a three month advance. So I guess there it is, coconut cake and a something truffle, lime truffle, I think it says. And at this time, we don't need to use this thing to actually give the light because the candle is already there. And uh, I'm not going to feel myself eating this, so I'm just going to head out afterwards. Alright, done with the meal. Overall, the fish is not good, but everything else is actually pretty decent. Taste is a 4 out of 5, not very high because of the fish actually bringing it down. So, environment's perfect. Service actually is... Uh, the waitress actually some at the end is actually not really showing a lot of emotions. It shows a little bit more facial expressions and I can actually feel a little bit better. But she's not, so that's why service went down slightly to a 4 out of 5. So that's why overall speaking, I'm gonna give this place a 4 point... Uh, how do I do this? It's hard to calculate, but probably gonna give it a 4.3 out of 5. So, well... But this is a very fine dining experience if you guys want to come and enjoy the views and try to like enjoy a little bit of a short time up there enjoy the views in a dark environment with very nice environment and all some of the some of the good food you can try that one out very expensive though so that's why it comes only when you have a special event hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time click on these videos up top remember to subscribe and peace